you're 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 currently break. You're currently break because, of, bro, come on, man. You you you're making some dumb de decisions. So yeah, you're still in, you're in, currently in the brick academy. If his mind isn't right, don't play. So, but make sure he never gets that chain back. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? What precisely do you want from half hope double H? Just tell me what you want from me and I'll give it to you. Um I get it. I get it. I I, I get it. Um Uncle Mo, we have to start there. We've got to start with with we've, we've got to start with 2010. That's what we've got to start with. Relax, guys. This is my Pretty much analysis. It's my rules. It's my channel. You've subscribed. You're watching it. So I do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> so could have start with 2010. Um, I have gone on the record numerous times to say that this is a bad fit. Why does Mourinho still have the job? It's a mess. I believe, apart from Martial De Gea. And Rashford, I believe everyone else in this United team is either in the Brick Academy or under review. Go to check again, but I believe that apart from those three players, Rashford, Martial, and De Gea, um, and maybe Shaw, guys are either under review or in the Brick Academy. It's a crap. I mean, these this, this guys are crap. Let's just be real. Like, performance wise, these guys are crap. That's why, technically, they're not a mid table team. Philosophically, Emotionally, they are a mid-table team, and that's just me keep, keeping it a stack. Keeping it a stack. So, they are going in here as underdogs. Because you're going up against um, the team who are pretty much technically the Premier League lead leaders, whatever Man City do, or not technically they're the Premier League lead leaders, if everything is, you know, um, um, normal and, and so forth. So, and... The thing about this is this is that this is the kind of game that Mourinho will figure out winning. Because he could win this game, Scornthop could then put three past them next week. That's the kind of team that you're dealing with here. So it is very weird me looking at this and looking at United because United they're coming off an, an L against Valencia who were crap and horrible in the Champions League. But this is a very dangerous team to face because you're facing a, a schizo. Man United are schizos. They are they are suffering from deep, intense schizophrenia where we don't know what the hell the team is going to come up. Even though most times you face bricks. Most of the times you face bricks. Sometimes you could just face a team that did well what they did to Juventus and flip into to Real. You could, you could face that team that has the power of Juju or the elements or, or whatever. Makes you miss and, and, and they get the, the, the key goals to win the, the game. So... Um, so I just want to just, uh, but just with, with, with Mourinho, um, relax on the insults. The insults are deserved because he has been in brick. He's still in the brick academy. So, you know, when a guy says, oh, you're so um, biased, you always love of Mourinho. Like, Mourinho's my guy. You have to understand, really, he's my guy. I will always try and so much words because Mourinho is one of my inspirations. He's one of the guys... That I respect and love the most in footballing history. So you don't understand how much Mourinho means to me. I flipping love Mourinho. I love him. But as much as I love him, I have a job to do on this channel. Which is why he's in the Brick Academy. Because you've been a Brick. I still love you. You're still my guy. You're one of the greatest people ever in footballing history. I don't give a damn what anybody says. You're still one of the greatest in football history. And the 2010 Trouble is one of the greatest troubles of all time. You're, you're, you're currently a brick. You're currently a brick because of... Bro, come on, man. You, you, you're making some dumb de decisions. So, yeah, you're still in, you're in, currently in the brick academy. Liverpool. Um, things, things are going well. Things are going well for the Liverpool kids, man. Um, the team is looking good. Playing well. Playing efficiently. And guys are playing at a high level. Clean sheets. Defensively strong. Um, and their goal scorer is hitting the mark. Man has been a, been a bit off the ball, Firmino a bit off the ball, but the midfield, even if it needs to be improved, has been operating to still a quality standard. 
and there are options, you know, whether you want to go for Fabinho, you want to bring in Naby Keita, you want to bring in Shakira, and I think that's a beautiful thing because Shakiri, Keita, Fabinho, and all them other guys, they bring in something different, you know. Henderson is still a brick, essentially it's a brick, but Henderson is a useful brick, it's a useful brick. And obviously you've got a quality top to, to defender, not the best defender in the world, but definitely one, top three, top four defenders in the world in Van Van Dijk, really doing his thing in there. Um, but Liverpool have to be, have to approach this game carefully. Um, because it is still a rivalry based on the history of both clubs. But more so than that, I believe that um, they have to be they have to be even more wary of them than most other teams. Because on the face of it, it's we should beat these guys. These guys are bad. These guys are a mess. Arguably, their most talented player can't even get in, in, into the, the, the flipping team. I just read that Valencia now wants to leave in January. There is just complete and total con confusion here. So everything leads to um, Liverpool. If they play their game, their quality will see, see them through. They will control the, the, the game and they will pretty much outscore um, United, depending on whatever happens throughout the, the game. But still, beyond that, they still have to be careful. They still have to be wary because in this kind of game, anything can happen. So, I think for Liverpool's approach, being the, the home side, I, I, still, I think I like their approach to Napoli. I think they've, they've got to keep that similar approach, maybe even go with that lineup as well. And I just think for, for Liverpool, I just think the, the, the key thing is control the game. Control the texture of the game and maintain control of the game. The key thing is getting... I think they should just look at what happened with Chelsea almost where they should get that early goal and they should maintain focus with that early goal because I think that the with the that Chelsea made is that they, they, they got the goal, they didn't add to the goal, but they lost control of the game and they just lost concentration. And I think the key thing about United is that these are guys who they can strike from anywhere and they can score from nothing because Martial, Lingard, Rashford and so forth, these are individuals who... One, two, three, four passes. They, they create a situation, a scenario, and before you know it, the ball is in the back of the net. So I think Liverpool, it is very... That's why this, this, these are the games where Van Dijk is really built for. And even beyond that, there's a bigger picture here. Momentum. Momentum. Liverpool need to go into January 3rd, top of the, the table. Not about, okay, only like one or two points or three points behind. Their intention must be, let's go to the Etihad, January 3rd, top of the table, to try and beat those guys in their backyard to extend the lead. Because the mandate here is, let's try and win this Premier League. That has to be the full focus here. There's a long way to go. For me, I still, I'm still rolling with, with City and everything. And I think even if Liverpool are currently top, I think... It's going to keep on switching and there are, there are going to be far more twists in the tail happening from now until the end of the season. But before they get towards January 3rd, I think Liverpool's mind frame must be, we need to ride. We've got to ride, we've got to live, we've got to breathe, we've got to eat. We've got to eat. Munchie, munchie. Okay? His chain's been snatched. His chain's been snatched. Okay, you can thank sorry. You know, and, and the boys for, 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 for doing that. But it's about making sure he never gets that, that, that chain back. He's been snatched, but he could, he could reclaim the chain. So it's about making sure he never gets that chain back. That's what Liverpool's mandate should be. So, and I think it's about momentum. So this is a game that they have to win. They need to win. Because they need to keep on the consistency. And they shouldn't even be thinking about, oh my gosh, we're unbeaten. Let's just know. I think the key thing is keep getting results. Keep getting results. And... Take it each game at a time. And I think that that's what I think Klopp should be t telling them. That's take each game as a time. So I think for this kind of kind of game, I do feel that um, having the right measured approach, control the game, don't waste the passes, and try and get Mane and Firmino on the ball in number 10 positions and try to create good situations for Salah. Try and get Salah in one-on-one -on -one situations. Salah in a one-on-one -on -one situation against any of, the, of, the, of those de of those of those defenders, it's lights out. It's lights out for, for for them. So, and I do feel that if United take a very defensive approach, I do feel that 
this Liverpool team, see, 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 and I think, see, that's where it, it changes this. Because if United take a very defensive approach, which I think Klopp may be thinking of, I do feel that a Shaqiri Henderson with Naldo midfield is how you ride. Because I do feel like if Shaqiri would be better in cutting through and finding a pass as for Henderson. Henderson can't find the pass. You know, he can do the long reach pass and everything. I don't think he's a very incisive technical passer. So we employ Shakiri. Shakiri can carry the ball and he's an incisive passer. Maybe Kitsa can carry the ball and also can, can deliver an incisive um, pass as well. For United, again, um, all pass lead through to Martial. Um, a big question, does Pogba start or not? I still feel Pogba has to play. Pogba has to play. Um, but the, but the, the, the difficulty is this. Pogba is... Pogba along with Martial are the, more, are the two most talented players in United, outfield-wise, at, attacking-wise. But if there is an issue between Pogba and Mourinho and Pogba just doesn't feel at home and he doesn't feel mentally right, mentally right it doesn't matter how good he is, if he's not psychologically in sync within the team and his mind isn't right, there's no point in putting him on the on the pitch. So as much as I say Pogba has to play, if his mind is, isn't right, don't play him. He, he shouldn't even sniff the, the, the flipping pitch. And if that happens, I just think of United, they've got to move the ball quickly and they've got to get the ball in um, good situations for Martial and Linga. They've got to get Martial on the ball. They've got to get Martial to carry the, carry the ball. But they've got to try and get Ma Ma Martial in situations where he's not surrounded by so many the, the defender so throw balls balls into into space and give him the ball into situations in which he can actually carry the ball giving him the ball in a cul-de-sac way out into the wing where he's restricted into space and he has to now maneuver past two or three guys where Liverpool are very good at in, in encroaching it's not really going to help him so um De Gea is going to have to be huge and again this is actually very good De Gea and um, Beck who's going to come out on, on top so, viewing this, taking everything into account, <laughs> um, I still, I'm going to stick with my scoreline that I said. You know, and I think this is the scoreline that I feel is going to bear fruit. Um, and that is, I see this being a draw. 1-1. I feel that Uncle Mo will find a way to draw the game. I see Liverpool scoring first. And then I see United squaring it. 1-1. One, one. Liverpool keep knocking on the door, but Liverpool are unable to find that winning goal. And Mourinho walks away with it with a 1-1 one, one, one all draw. Um, I think if United lose this, um, are they 8th or ninth? Because that's just something to think about because United have lost quite a, quite, quite a few games. So if they lose this, I don't know. But I think Mourinho can eke out a draw. And for Liverpool, man, let's see what you're made of. Let us see what this team is made of. Because, again, Liverpool fans, of course, they've been downvoting the last video that I put down. Because um, according to Liverpool fans, not football fans, according to Liverpool fans, Van Dijk is the best defender in the world. And Alisson Becker is better than De Gea. And Alisson Becker is the best goalkeeper in the world. I disagree. I feel that Van Dijk and Becker are amongst some of the best in the world. I think Van Dijk is one of the top defenders in the world currently right now. And Becker is one of the top goalkeepers in the world right now. But in your stripes. But put that to one side. Um, if Liverpool do win this... Because again, I do feel that if this will United will make it a difficult game for Liverpool. As bad as United are. And these guys are crap. Let me, be, let's just, let, let, let me keep it aside. These guys, these guys are crap. I do feel United will make it difficult for them, you know. And I, and, I, and I do think that Mourinho isn't going to play open. I think he's going to try and close things down, congest things, slow them down, fr fr frustrate them. And although that tactic would have worked very much last season in how Liverpool needed a space to play, there's a very different kind of Liverpool that we have here where um, they can play a bit slower and they don't really need to be given that, that much space. And I think with um, Salah's goal scoring acumen really not being increased and now him really being on form, he's a danger man. So can United deal with that threat that Salah poses? Um, and how well will Martial do up against your boy Van Dijk and um, Lovren? Because I think Matip is out injured. 
So yeah, but I'm still rolling with a one one all draw. So again, man, it's gonna be a big game, huge game. Watch for my post match analysis straight out of the game. Peace out, stage one, stay black, peace. Thanks for watching the video. Now think about becoming a football hot patron by pledging an amount each month and then gain access to exclusive content only on the Football Hot Patron page. Peace. Head over to the official sites at halffootballhot.com or just click over here.